What's up Guardians, Profane here, thanks for checking out the video. With Season of the Haunted story coming to a conclusion this week, it would appear as though the Drifter will be making a triumphant return into Destiny's narrative during Season 18. So today we're going to take a look at what the impact that the Drifter's mission to the Reef and possible return to the Spotlight might have on Season 18's story, its Season Pass, and the new rewards and activities that we'll see. Before we get started, if you end up enjoying today's video, then please be sure to help support the channel below by hitting that like button along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated. After the newest mission entry called Catharsis, Guardians discover a hidden message between Eris and the Drifter that indicates the Drifter is currently on a hush-hush standalone mission that's on the reef. Many within the community have taken this as a hint that the Drifter and the Reef will play a significant role in Season 18's story. If the Drifter is to play a large role in Season 18, it's likely that we would see Bungie incorporate the same seasonal model as we saw this season. This season we saw reworked vaulted content from Season of the Opulence, Leviathan mechanics and activities, and a reintroduction of Callus and Gaul. Going with this same structure, it's likely that we would see returning weapons, cosmetics, and activities from Season of the Drifter. This would mean the return of weapons like the Spare Rations, Doomsday, and Soul Survivor, back with all new Intrinsic and Foundry perks to match the current sandbox. Beyond weapons, this means that we could see returning armor sets from the Gambit Prime era which were one of the first armor sets to provide set perk bonuses. These armor sets also featured one of the first armor glows in the form of the Gambit Snake in different colors based on type of armor. There were four total Gambit Prime armor sets, Collector, Invader, Reaper, and Sentry. While they all looked the same, each provided different and unique perks specific to those Gambit roles and each had a different color based on which armor type. Considering Bungie's current seasonal model is to include two featured armor sets, one for the season pass and one for the season itself, we will most likely see one entirely new armor set for each class and then one return armor set from the Gambit Prime era. When the season of the Drifter launched, it introduced a new game mode called Gambit Reckoning. This activity took place within the Drifter ship and was co-organized by the Nine as a way to test Guardian's merit and worthiness. It included three tiers and had three weekly variations. If the Drifter is to be the focus of Season 18, we will most likely see components of Gambit Reckoning re-rendered into new activities for Season 18 just as we saw the mechanics from the Leviathan and Menagerie re-rendered into Season of the Haunted activities, like Nightmare Containment. With the Drifter being in prime focus, this could set up the inclusion of many fabled characters that have only been known through lore. Characters like Dredgen Vale, Dredgen Yor, and Shin Malfour all could see their time in the spotlight this upcoming season, either as themselves or as Nightmares of the Drifter. With the Reef being mentioned and the Drifter having going off on this reckless mission, something we've seen a lot out of Cade in the past, Guardians could have to revisit the Reef to rescue the Drifter, or at least aid him through his discoveries there, very similar to like we've done for Cade several times over. We have not been back to the Reef since Destiny 1, the reef being a city within an asteroid belt at the boundary of light and dark and claimed by the Awoken, once a popular social space destination for Guardians, but vaulted at the launch of Destiny 2. The Drifter could be using the reef as a means to smuggle the spider away from Marasov. We last saw spider when the Tangled Shore was being consumed and erased by the pyramids, so to have him return as an ally against the Witness and Callus could be vital to our success 
and the goal here for the drifter and I'm sure Spider would be pretty pissed off about being bumped. We can't forget the drifter's connections to the Nine. Whenever the drifter has been intertwined in the narrative, we've seen heavy influence from Orin and the other entities of the Nine. The Nine do hold a special connection to the Reef as it was a strange coin discovered at the dead body of Sajur Ido in the Reef during the Reef Wars. Sajur Ido was the former lover of Queen Marasov and the original owner of the Wishender exotic boat. One of the few leaks for season 18 suggested that we will have a pirate and treasure themed season, which if the Nine have any bearance on the Drifter's current mission in the Reef, then this leak may have some legitimacy after all. Since the release of Witch Queen, we've seen the storytelling capabilities of Bungie excel exponentially. We've seen tons of fabled lore finally come to life in game. We've seen characters develop and grow in unique and incredible ways. And I think it's safe to say that season 18 will not fall short of these expectations. The Drifter has a deep, rich, and tragic backstory. One that I think would make for a perfect inclusion into season 18 story. And I think I speak for everyone in saying that having the reef return in season 18 would be absolutely astounding as a new social space. So Guardians, what are your thoughts on the Drifter and his side mission to the Reef? Do you think we're in store for a Drifter themed season filled with gunslingers and treasure? Will the Reef be the new hangout spot for Guardians in season 18? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, then please be sure to help support the channel below by hitting that like button along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated. And before we wrap things up, I just want to say a big apology to all of you linguistic connoisseurs out there. I always end up having to put this in the comments out there to somebody that tries to correct me, but my apologies for any mispronunciation of these guys' names. And with that being said, if you're in need of any help throughout this season or season 18, then please be sure to join the Discord channel in the description below, where you can find a home for your guardian and plenty of help and other guardians to talk to. Until next time, guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.